Global force displacement is at a record high. Displaced populations often live in precarious conditions next to vulnerable host communities. Over 40% of displaced people are children. Their access to safe spaces to learn and play is limited. This can be detrimental to their healthy development and overall well-being. Building additional social infrastructure for children, such as schools and playgrounds, might be the obvious solution. But in order to truly improve the well-being of children affected by displacement, it is crucial that they participate in all phases of the design and implementation of built projects. This can empower children, boost the local economy, build positive relationships between displaced people and their hosts, and result in better infrastructure for the children and their communities. How can children participate in the design of built projects? Through four simple steps. One, put children and their carers at the center of developing ideas for the project. This requires strong partnerships that consider the specific needs of children affected by displacement. Two, translate children's ideas into design solutions taking into account the diversity of children and their experiences, context, and location. Three, use local materials and contractors, ensuring that children and laborers are protected along the entire supply chain. And four, work with children to decide how to use the space after construction. This allows them to take ownership of the space and contributes to its sustainability. DCID has developed a practical toolkit for the participation of children in built environment projects. It acts as a bridge between professionals of participatory design and forced displacement in an urban context, and it recognizes the importance of the quality of space on play and child development.